Hey guys, it's Danielle. My camera is low on battery, so I hope it doesn't die because I filmed this a couple times, but the focus was a little off, so I hope it's right. But today I'm going to be doing a first semester college reflection and giving you guys things I wish I had done or advice and things like that. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. <laughs> For context, I am a freshman international business major with a concentration in finance, studying French at Howard University. Basically, when you're in the School of Business, you come in, you get a corporate sponsor, a team leader, and a group. That group is going to be your group for the remainder of the semester and then the following semester. So basically, you want to have good ties with them, you want to um, interact with them, get along with them because they're going to be the people that you're with. Mostly freshmen, but sometimes other grade levels are in your group depending on what credits I need to fulfill and things like that. But mainly my group was freshmen. I felt like the School of Business is incredible. I really like it. They make you wear business professional on Tuesdays and Thursdays. You have to get a certain outfit for that. You have to do certain things. You know, the class really does try to let you know everything you need to know, you know, even though sometimes things can get a little confusing. So I really like the class and I like the School of Business in general. So the first one is sleep. I would say at the beginning of the year I was really struggling with that because I did not know that it was going to be so hard to find quiet, dark sleeping time. You know, I thought it was going to be just like home, you go to sleep when you want and it's quiet and it's dark, but no. You need to find the right time to sleep, you need to have time to sleep, and you need to be able to navigate that within the loudness of your dorm, what your roommate's doing, and everything like that. So that took me a minute to get used to, but once I did, I felt like I didn't have a problem with being awake for class or anything like that. I would say this is where I'm going to improve next semester. Not that I didn't study, but you can always study harder, especially with classes getting harder. You know, you always think that, oh, I don't have to go to class or I don't have to study for this, but your teacher recognizes that. And then they will easily slap you with that 89, that, that B, you know, when it's supposed to be an A, you thought. So make sure that you go to class and you study and do whatever you have to do to make sure you have that A, because you never know, like, if a teacher might be like, Oh, participation, zero, you know, and then you got a B. Or you get a B on a paper and you get A's on everything else and then you got a B. You know, and it's so easy for that to happen, so just make sure that you work against it as much as possible because you want that 4.0. This one I'll talk about for a little bit longer. Um, I would say that socializing was really great for me at Howard. Um, what I love about the atmosphere is that people are not afraid to interact with you, upperclassmen or whatever. You know, Howard is really inclusive, I feel like. Like, you don't have any situation where a senior won't help you do something or a sophomore won't help you find a class. Like, people are always willing to help you if you need it, especially during those first couple weeks when everyone's a little bit confused. So don't be afraid or shy or feel like no one's going to talk to you because people really will. And there are so many events and things that are just conducive to community. Coming from a PWI, going to an HBCU was a mind-blowing, life-changing experience. I absolutely would not change it for the world because I, I mean, to be honest, I was always feeling like fine and stuff in the context of PWIs, but then it's like when you go to an HBCU, you really do have this feeling of community. Everyone around you is surrounding you with love, and it's this undercurrent of love. It's not like you always need to go around being like black power, black excellence, this or that. Even though, you know, people are always like repping their culture, but it's this undertone of acceptance and love that's just prevalent in the HBCU experience and I absolutely love it. Um, you've got people from Jamaica, you've got people from Nigeria, you've got people from Angola, you've got people from the United States. You've got all these different versions of community all coming together in this centralized experience and it's absolutely amazing. I love it, I love it, I love it. So if you are considering an HBCU and you came from a PWI, do not hesitate because of that because if anything, it'll make the experience even more of a treasure for you. So just keep that in mind. In regards to social as well, people think that the boy-girl dynamic is really messed up because of the ratio. There are a lot more girls than guys at Howard. But I feel like Generally speaking, girls and guys don't get involved in messy things and it won't be messy for you. You know, people can, there are so many things you can see on Twitter about people just kind of going in about that, but really just um, don't be messy, keep your things in order, and hopefully you won't get in a messy situation. That's all I have to say about that. Uh, next semester, things I would change, I'll probably bring more shoes because to be honest, no joke, I fell into the trap of wearing slippers all the time, which was so comfortable for me, so cozy, but 
it was lazy, so I need to, I need to, you know, I need to bring real shoes. But other than that, I would say it's just a matter of refining the things I've already set in place and just doing better than I did before. If you guys have any questions or concerns regarding the HBCU experience or Howard in particular, leave them in the comments or even just college because it is a college just like every other college, so let me know. Um, if you guys want more on university videos, let me know that as well. I'm going to be home until January 8th, 9th, or 10th, so I'll be here and I'll be able to make videos as well as when I go back. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!